Today, we're going to look at the world's top 10 airports in 2021, at least according to Skytrax and their World Airport Survey. Now, we know that Skytrax and its rating of airlines has seen some controversy in the past. In fact, in 2019, we wrote about the backlash the organization faced after downgrading Turkish Airlines to a three-star airline after pulling out of Skytrax's auditing services. Additionally, some claim that the ranking method may be flawed. One example cited was because Lufthansa's Skytrax rating was based on a future product rather than a current offering. With what happened to Turkish Airlines, many accuse Skytrax and its evaluations of being biased. Reports over the past years cite a lack of transparency and go so far as to accuse the firm of downgrading airlines that aren't paying for its auditing services. But before we completely sow mistrust and scepticism into the system of ratings, we are simply using this list as a launching point to cover some of the higher-profile airports around the world. At the end, we'll also mention a few differences we spotted among other lists compiled by other organizations. Of course, if you think there's an airport out there that deserves to be on this list more than another, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. According to the Skytrax website for airport rankings and awards, worldairportawards.com, the organization says that there's no entry fee or any type of payment by any airport or other third party to be included in the survey or awards, noting that the survey and awards process is fully funded by Skytrax. Indeed, all submissions are on a voluntary basis and the survey entries are monitored with any suspect or duplicate entries being deleted. We're not sure when this information was put up, but it sounds like a response to the public backlash they've received over the years. In any case, hopefully it's true, and these airport rankings have a little more credibility. Before we jump right into the list, let's look at the list of criteria that surveys used for evaluation. It's a long list of 39 points with an additional 10 criteria specific to COVID-19 prevention and management. We won't list all 49 points, but here are just a few. Ease of access of getting to and from the airport. Availability of luggage trolleys, airside and landside. Terminal comfort and cleanliness. Wait times for immigration, baggage and more. Ease of transit throughout the airport. Wi-Fi service. Airport star friendliness and language abilities. And even the prices of stores and restaurants. Again, you'll have to tell us if your experience of these airports matches the survey results and rankings. So, with all of that out of the way, let's start from number 10 on the list and work our way up to number 1. Number 10 on the list is Hong Kong International Airport. One of the world's largest passenger and cargo airports, this is the hub and home base for Cathay Pacific. The new airport, HKIA, opened in July 1998 and serves 220 destinations and hosts around 120 airlines. The airport handled 71.5 million passengers in 2019, with almost 420,000 airport movements. In fact, its two runways together handled about 68 flights per hour at peak periods. Among their more interesting facilities is a quote-unquote caring corner. This is a rest area for travelers with special needs, including passengers with reduced mobility, the elderly and pregnant woman. Additionally, the airport has complimentary shower facilities. According to the airport's website, these facilities provide hair dryers as well as complimentary shampoo and bath gel. Towels and other shower consumable items are also available from a vending machine. In the number 9 spot is Japan's Kansai International Airport, which opened in 1994. Serving the major city of Osaka and its surrounding area, Kansai has become an important international hub for Japan. Kansai International Airport, or KIX, is the first 24-hour operated international airport in Japan. The airport was built on an artificial island 5 kilometers offshore from the Senshu area, southeast of Osaka Bay. As of 2021, the airport served 108 cities or 90 cities for passenger services. A 24-hour pet hotel and an umbrella reuse service are two of the more interesting services at Kix. Indeed, lost and left behind umbrellas are collected and made available for travelers who need one. Unfortunately, at the moment, this service is suspended due to COVID. 
Finally, for AV geeks, Kansai's Skyview Observation Hall provides a great place to watch aircraft taking off and landing. This facility also doubles as an airport museum. The number eight spot is Heathrow Airport. One of the world's busiest international airports, it's the primary hub for both British Airways and Virgin Atlantic Airways. The airport has four passenger terminals, although this was reduced to two functioning terminals during much of 2020. At the moment, Heathrow hosts 84 airlines, which fly to 203 destinations in 84 countries. Its top destinations are New York JFK, Dubai, Dublin, Amsterdam and Hong Kong. According to the airport's website, Heathrow has gone the extra mile to accommodate travelling families. Indeed, it says that it offers complimentary kids' meals, dedicated play areas and family-friendly parking. Additionally, children aged 15 and under travel for free on the Heathrow Express when travelling with an adult. Airport number 7 is Switzerland's Zurich Airport. The busiest airport in the country, Zurich is the primary hub of Swiss International Airlines and is located 12 kilometers from the city center of Zurich. In 2021, Zurich Airport and the 43 airlines it hosted served 150 destinations. However, looking forward, summer 2022 is scheduled to feature 191 destinations, which is almost the same as before the pandemic. Pre-pandemic 2019, the airport handled 31.5 million passengers, which was an average of over 86,000 per day. Before the global health crisis, it served 203 destinations using 77 airlines, with its top five carriers listed as Swiss, Edelweiss Air, EasyJet, Eurowings and British Airways. An additional fun fact, the airport says that its top aircraft types in terms of flight movements were the Airbus A320, Embraer E190, Airbus A319, Airbus A22300 and Airbus A321. It's not just Skytrax survey respondents recognizing Zurich Airport's quality facilities. Indeed, the airport has won the World Travel Award for the best airport in Europe for the past 18 straight years. According to Euronews, the fact that it's just 11 minutes by train from the city centre is a key highlight for travellers. Additionally, infrastructure is modern and there are over 80 shops as well as a fast Wi-Fi connection which is free for up to two hours. In the number six spot is Germany's Munich Airport. This is the second busiest airport in Germany and Lufthansa's secondary hub next to Frankfurt. This airport has over 150 retail stores and around 50 places for eating and drinking. In 2021, the airport hosted 64 airlines flying to a total of 187 destinations in 55 countries. There are two rather interesting features at Munich. The first is its very own brewery named Airbau. In fact, the airport says that it was the first brewery located at an airport. It was once the only brewery, but has since been joined by others, including airport craft brewers located in the domestic terminal of Johannesburg's O.R. Tambo Airport. The second interesting feature at Munich is the airport's Christmas winter market, which is set up from the end of November to the end of December. While the market is active, a huge ice skating rink sits in the middle, along with over 450 real Christmas trees. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Tokyo Narita Airport. Serving the greater Tokyo area of Japan, Narita is one of the international hubs for Japan Airlines and all Nippon Airways. The airport and its three terminals serve 120 cities around the world with about 100 different airlines. Looking at its website, nothing seems to stand out as super unique for Narita Airport. If you've spent some time there, do let us know what, if anything, makes it special. At number four is Seoul Incheon International Airport. The former winner of the Airport of the Year title at the World Airport Awards, Incheon International is currently undergoing a four-phase construction project with plans to become a mega hub that can accommodate 106 million passengers a year, handling 600,000 flight operations and 6.3 million tons of cargo. Incheon often ranks in the top five of the world's largest cargo hubs, since opening in 2001, the airport has continued to develop, now handling an average of 3.33 million tons annually. 
As of 2019, the airport and its two terminals hosted 88 airlines with flights to 55 countries and 173 cities. A movie theatre, ice skating rink, golf driving range and free public concerts are among the highlights at the airport. Incheon also offers complimentary shower facilities for transiting passengers as well as free nap rooms. Number 3 spot is Singapore Changi Airport, one of the busiest passenger hubs for Southeast Asia and the home of Singapore Airlines. Without a doubt, one of the big attractions at this airport is the Changi Jewel, a nature-themed entertainment and retail complex located on the grounds of the airport. While it's located at Changi, Jewel is a destination itself for non-traveling residents of Singapore. While some might come here to shop, many visit the Jewel to see its centerpiece, the Rain Vortex, known as the world's tallest indoor waterfall. Free attractions and facilities at this airport include a butterfly park, a movie theatre and a quote-unquote entertainment deck with video game consoles. Currently suspended due to COVID, the airport during normal times offered a free Singapore tour for travellers with long layovers. Available for those with layovers between 5.5 to 24 hours, the free 2.5-hour guided tour normally operates seven times daily and includes two short photo stops at famous landmarks. Hopefully, this will be coming back soon. At second place is another Tokyo airport. Tokyo Haneda International Airport is one of the world's busiest airports and is the busiest in Japan. Located fairly close to Tokyo's city center, the airport has three terminals. Known as being an immaculately clean airport, Haneda also has observation decks at all three of its terminals, offering great views of aircraft taking off and landing at the airport's four runways. Apparently, the International Air Terminal's observation deck also has a digital signage display where guests can find out information about the aircraft and also other special vehicles on the runway. According to FlightConnections.com, Tokyo Haneda serves 106 destinations in 26 countries. Finally, taking top spot is Qatar's Hamad International Airport. Now the main airport serving the Qatari capital of Doha, this airport has been described as the quote, most architecturally significant terminal complex in the world. The home airport of Qatar Airways, Hamad International hosted 35 airlines in 2021, with Rwand Air being a new addition. The airport currently serves a total of 160 destinations, with eight new passenger destinations added in 2021. According to the airport, its busiest destinations in 2021 were Dhaka, Male, Dubai, Kathmandu and London. Fine dining and luxury shopping options are among the standout features of this airport. One of the more notable attractions is the sculpture-slash-art piece in the main atrium, the famous 23-foot-tall, untitled Lamp Bear. The airport describes this as a, quote, playful piece that humanizes the space around it and reminds travelers of childhood or precious objects from home. So, those are the top 10 airports in the world, at least according to participants of Skytrax World Airport Awards. There are, of course, other rankings out there which have different results. Indeed, CNN Traveler's Reader's Choice Awards for World's Best Airport in 2021 trades Hanada, Munich, Kansai and Hong Kong for Athens, Istanbul, Dubai and Marrakesh, with other airports rearranged in a different order. Meanwhile, the website Travel and Leisure seems to be a mix of the Skytrax results and the CNN Traveler list. In case you were wondering, CNN Traveler and Travel and Leisure both put Singapore Changi at number one on their respective lists. So again, we'd love to know about your own experiences at these airports and how well they align with the results of this Skytrax survey. Share it all down below by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.